Ah, delicious Australian brew. When you close your eyes and you think about a dyno, matter of fact, close your eyes right now. Imagine that dyno. A big platform either above ground or in ground with four large rollers. The noise it makes, it's squealing. Yuck. Well, when it came to choosing the dyno for our customers, the answer was obvious, a mainline pro hub dyno. But why do we choose a hub dyno? How does it work? And really, what does it offer as a benefit to you getting a tune? Let's find out. Safety is a top consideration for most industries, but when you think about it, you have a 3,000 and up pound car going like 100 mile an hour wheel speed, you're probably gonna run into some stuff. Well, hopefully not. With a typical chassis dyno or rolling dyno, you have to strap the car down with multiple ratchet straps, ensure that they're tightened all the way, and usually between pulls, you have to retighten those straps. On top of that, if the wheel turns due to torque or some other factor, there's a suspension, or even a tire failure, there could be a lot of debris or the car can actually fall off the dyno. We've all seen those videos online. Now with a hub dyno, we actually don't need any straps at all. What we do is we use this scissor lift to elevate the car up in the air. And then all we do is bolt this hub adapter plate, depending on which bolt pattern you have, we have different ones, onto the car. And then this goes onto these rolling pieces here. Once again, the car is stationary on here. There are no straps needed. Now, once these are bolted down fully, the scissor lift goes down and this is what holds the car on. They have these large legs that fold out to make sure that the car doesn't move at all, the boxes don't move at all. But really that's what's holding everything in place. There's no need for straps. There's no need to worry about tires at all. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later in more depth, but it's a lot safer. So the different hub adapters that we have is we obviously have the 5x114, 5x4.5, I think it's the American version. We have the 5x130 in center lock. We have the 5x112 in center lock. We have the 5x112, 115, and 130 in this and that one. Lamb Lambo, mercy me. Consistency is also key with dyno tuning. After all, all a dyno is, is a measurement of the vehicle's power output when making adjustments to the tune. So the more consistent the output from the dyno is, the more accurate adjustments can be made by your tuner, offering a better overall tune. When considering which dyno to get, once again, looking at testimonials from other shops and tuners, what we realized was the hub dyno, many were reporting that they could do five or six poles and be within about five horsepower and five torque every single time, which is very tough to get on certain rolling dynos. Now, the other cool part is if you want to retune or you make an adjustment to the car, you can actually pull the car on six months later and do the same exact numbers that you did because the factors, the other factors in a rolling dyno are taken out. Pretty cool. So another big part of consistency is what is touching that dyno roller tires. So we talked earlier about tires being a possible safety issue. They also need to grip those rollers. So if you have a slick tire, an aggressive compound that needs to be warmed up, or you're just making a ton of power, which is what we plan to do on this dyno with your cars, you need to worry about traction. With a hub dyno, you don't have to worry about it. We've all seen the videos of people adjusting straps or putting people or weights in the trunk to try to get grip on the dyno. Well, that's not a worry with a hub dyno. It's going to get traction. And on top of that, our dyno can actually read up to 4,600 horsepower. The rear is capable of reading up to 3,000 while the fronts are capable of 1,600. Damn! Ease is also a big consideration, especially when you think about how long it could take to set a car up on the dyno, readjusting those straps. We talked about that in safety. It could be pretty time consuming. Now, this isn't a very super straightforward and quick process, but when you consider the time it takes to readjust dyno straps or a big one for tuners, the car has an issue on the dyno, you have to take the whole thing off, undo the straps, get all the sensors off, take it out. Well, with the scissor lift, if there is a small adjustment or something needs to be tightened up or swapped out, we can do that in the dyno room itself, which is great. That means less time for you, less time for the tuner, which typically means less money that you're paying. We will be offering full tunes as well as renting this facility out for you or your tuner or doing power pulls. So the less time that it takes you to set up or your tuner to get the car on, the dyno, the less it's gonna cost you in the long run. So that all sounds pretty great, doesn't it? There is one thing you should know about a hub dyno and that is the only possible, I guess, negative compared to a rolling dyno. So 
with a rolling dyno, there's a lot of inertia being created from those large rollers that are moving the wheels along. Now, what that is good at recreating is that load or inertia that the road has on your car. So with a hub dyno, while it does have a lot of safety improvements, consistency improvements, and ease, there is that to consider. So what most tuners do is they just do a quick road test. They'll drive the car up and down, make sure the fuel maps are good for those. Deceleration is really what it is. Like a good way to replicate what this lacks is if you were to go down a hill in gear and let off the gas. Those areas of the tune can be covered on the road with, like I said, going down a hill in gear or something like that. So let us know what you guys think. Are you excited about this? thing have you seen hub dinos before are you like a roller dino to the core guy we waited about two months to get this from australia so we're super stoked on it please don't rain on my parade let us know what you guys think below if you consider a hub dino over a rolling and if you guys want to book an appointment you can do that right now we are up and running you go to circuitdemon.com and go to the tuning tab fill out a submission form and go from there if you are a tuner or a customer in the area that wants to rent this dino we can also accommodate that if you just email us sales at circuitdemon.com we can let you know certain times and how much that is for you to do. So just hit us up. Thanks so much. See ya.